Hello everyone, this is Alex the Linkwitz here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of uh, the Chanel House Trilogy. Now, if you recall from my last part, I played Inhale. It involved a girl who happened to have the same name as me. She was a PC gamer. She had to go somewhere. She got tickets out of the blue. Weird. And before she and she got on a train, and a weird conductor had something lurking in a bag. And he killed a crow that was on his shoulder, probably prepared to eat it later today or something. Well, anyway, so we had that. So now it's the uh, next one, which is the uh, sepulcher, or I don't know what that word is. Uh, sepulcher. Maybe it's a maybe it's a word that refers to something between inhale and exhale. So I don't know, but let's. Uh, Get on with this part. Let's see what happens now. The word I don't know how to pronounce. Hmm. And the wicked shall hold their tongues. Okay. They stir. <clears throat> Beneath this silent world of saints and sinners, twixt the living and the dead. <coughs> Train's still going. Can't have slept long. We left, uh, we left. When did we leave? Where did we leave? God damn. It's unnervingly quiet. <coughs> <clears throat> Maybe I should fetch some water. The restaurant should be open now. Okay, well, he probably seems to have some memory problems. I don't want to be carting a book around unnecessarily. Hmm. The Charnel House Burial by Louis Cassell. <laughs> to think I don't get enough of the dead without pulp horror novels. Uh, just one vice. Okay. What do we have here, then? Wallet. Yes. Dr. Lang, curator of the Krennic on Thames Museum. That's me, all right. Mm-hmm. Is there anything to take me back there? No sense in taking the entire thing. Okay. Let's go stir up a drink or two. Maybe something strong is in order. Clear the head. The strength card is very weirdly designed. Okay, I'm Dr. Harold Lang. My destination is Augur Peak Island. I'm on this train to... <coughs> I'm, I'm going to evaluate some finds. They called me to... I can't just cart around any old thing. Hmm. Why not? Might be fun. The train layout seems to be weirdly designed. Museum ID card and wallet. Oh. Locked? Isn't this the way out? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, look, it's the guy who want is going to probably have a raven for dinner. Good evening, my friend. I was wondering if you could... Ah, yes. Uh, you're facing the you wrong way, around. dude. Having trouble settling down, are we? <laughs> Something like that. Could do with a stiff drink about now? Right you are, then. Uh, oh, good, though we have choices. But by the way, you might want to be facing him when you're talking, you know? The door to the next carriage appears to be locked. Is that normal? Nothing's wrong, is it? <laughs> you city folks always jump to conclusions. There's nothing wrong. It's just how we do things when our guests are asleep. It prevents prying eyes and swift fingers. Isn't that a bit of a fire hazard? Pal, let me tell you. If a fire breaks out in this train, then no amount of carriage doors are going to save you from roasting. If you catch my drift. Be a steel coffin if the unthinkable happened. <laughs> um, could you possibly unlock the door? I could really use a drink. Don't reckon I can, no. <laughs> can give you the key, though. On one condition. 
Oh, well, listen. Oh, please don't tell me he's going to ask me to solve some ridiculous conundrum of his. Ah. Bring me back a shot of whiskey when you get back. Old Floyd will hook you up. Just tell him it's for done. Oof. No problem, my friend. Thank you. Yep, this game's throwing the self-aware of the, uh, and the puzzle jerk things and everything. I get it. Mundane puzzles and everything, but no, it's just we're grabbing a drink of whiskey. <laughs> Locked. Oh, okay, so I have to. Aha! Uh -huh. Open. Okay. So I guess maybe, like, if I didn't accidentally skip that part where the girl uses the dog's tail to lock the door, I guess uh, she would have said something that actually. I bet she probably was going to say something that involved saying it's how stu. like saying that. Maybe I could use the tail. It's like, it's so ridiculous and everything, but something like that. Eh, let's go down here. Locked. Damn. All right. Uh, key again. No good. I can't even get the key in. Must be locked from the other side. Well. Ah, better hurry to the restaurant. Don't want it to close before I can get Don's whiskey. Ah. Better hurry. Okay, so. Ah, better hurry. Okay, so I can't go anywhere. A solemn looking young woman. She's a little unnerving. It's bad enough looking at the picture, let alone carrying it around. Well, I didn't ask her to carry it, but whatever. A solemn looking young woman. She's seated on a chair. Her eyes are staring off at something just outside the picture's edge. It's a little unnerving. I feel like... I feel like I've seen a photograph like this before. If this wasn't up in a train carriage... Hmm. Okay. So, it's just... Nothing I can look at, I guess. Um, here, use the key. Well, let's go back to the guy and say, hey, door's locked. Let's look at this painting, I guess, before we do it. A painting of a train. Is it this one? No, looks too old. Maybe an ancestor. Hmm, okay. The restaurant is locked. This key's no good. Ah, Floyd must be getting things ready. Just take your time, boy. Let him do his thing. He'll unlock it when he's good and ready. There's no rush, is there? Yeah. Well, hearing that, that sounds like the place just opened. Or someone opened one of their car their uh, carriage doors or something. Oh! Oh, hello! Hello there. I'm sorry for the intrusion. I was just what? It's He's Lord Voldemort. I can't make it out. I'm sorry. What was that? Bring me Harry Potter. Maybe I should be going. I'm sorry to have bothered you. Although well, you know what, I'm. He doesn't seem to be able to open his mouth properly. I think I'd better leave. Maybe I should mention this to that ticket inspector. Well, I have to go back and forth again. You know, honestly, I don't think he looks more like Lord Voldemort. He looks more like, uh... Uh... I forgot who he's called. The, the, guy, that, the main evil guy from the Star Wars movies. Locked. I just, uh, I don't really watch much of the Star Wars movies, so I don't really think too much about that. The only names I can really much remember are something like Dark Vader, and that's it. But yeah, he kind of looks like that, but since I don't know mu remember much lines, maybe I should have said, good, good, let the hate flow through you. But unfortunately, I chose Vol Voldemort, Lord Voldemort instead. There's a man in one of the rooms in the next carriage. I don't think he's at all well. <laughs> we get some right crazies on the train sometimes, I'm telling you. You learn to leave them be after a while. Uh, the, the wretched man can barely speak. Aye. And I'd be the same way after the amount of booze most of these boys have had. Is Floyd still not operating then? 
Not as far as I'm aware. Ah, well. Give the boy time. Hey, saw one of your fellow passengers pop his head at the room at the end of the corridor. Maybe you'd get a better conversation out of her. Pretty little thing, so she was. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Um, are you sure that she was... What? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> well, I can't go for that way. Okay, he's snoring. Well, I can't go for this door, so... Oh, can't go for that, that door, so maybe... Hey, is anyone in this room? Locked. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait, that's my room. Damn it. My mistake. Uh, this one. Well, this was the right room. Hello? <laughs> As a child, I used to make origami like this. Where's the girl that ticket collector claims to have seen? Hmm. I'm... Mm, I'm sure she won't miss just one. <laughs> I just feel like stealing. Could she be... Uh... Nothing. But that sounded awfully like a door unlocking in the next carriage. Is Floyd ready for business? Okay, hold on, hold on. I actually just realized something. So here are the door unlocking in the next carriage. How is he able to hear that? I mean, they're separated. There are, there are two cars separated from each other. Something doesn't feel right about this. They're all the same. Why would everyone have the same luggage? Well, why we I don't you take a look? I want to have a look inside, but these are somebody's bags. Well, they look the same. So More just... large bags. Something doesn't feel right about yeah. I want Okay. I won't look at them despite the whole suspicion. Maybe the girl's in there is in the bag. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? But yeah, he was in a separate car carriage. How is he able to hear? Yes. You know I food's getting cold. <laughs> I haven't heard any sort of dinner bell. Are we supposed to just know when it's dinner time? Are any of these places for me, I wonder? The match I found in the question also was like, why is... Shuttered and sealed. Just like in my room. Hmm, that's very suspicious. And I'm kind of curious about the placement of these, uh, like, it's very small tables. Look who it is. Good evening. Floyd, is it? Ah, Mr. Lang, how nice of you to join us. <laughs> Look at those it's Dr. Lang, actually. But uh, who needs formalities in a place like this? <laughs> Quite. I suppose you're here on business? Business? I, uh, yeah. A drink, Mr. Lang. That is what you're after, is it not? Mm -hmm. Perhaps a bite to eat first? Unfortunately, all our meals are reserved. By all means, have a drink, though. Pull up a stool. I'd better not stay. Your ticket collector, Don, I think it was has tasked me with procuring him a glass of whiskey. Ah, yes, he did leave his hip flask here, thinking about it. It's right there on the bar. This one's on the house, Mr. Lang. All right, thanks. Huh, it's empty. Give it to him. Flask's empty, Floyd. Better give me a shot of whiskey. No more freebies, I'm afraid, Mr. Lang. That'll be five pounds. Five pounds? Bearing me alive here. Okay, the music starting to sound strange. I think I'll call him Sam. That. I don't think so. But it has your money in it, doesn't it? Ah, uh, a bit of money. Just what the doctor ordered. The little glow on the top is that supposed to symbolize my uh, accomplishments? Here you go, my good man. I feel like I could make a shining reference, but I better hit me with don't know. Excess is the path to ruin, Mr. I can't remember Lang. what's from the shining. Before your time, would we? I think I can manage just one more drink. That's what they all say, isn't it, Mr. Lang? <laughs> just one more for the road? I can handle it. Never had difficulty <laughs> driving before. And what about your liver, Mr. Lang? Can that handle just one more drink? 
God damn, Floyd, you always were a preachy son of a bitch, weren't you? I think you're quite mistaken, Mr. Lang. We've never met you and I. Yeah. I just don't want you to do yourself an injury. I can handle one more goddamn drink, you stupid bitch. Just stay out of my way and I'll stay out of yours. That's right, Mr. Lang. Let it all out. There's a good little puppy. What? What the hell? What did... <sighs> Shit. I need to go, Floyd. It's been a pleasure, as always. Aren't you forgetting your promise, Mr. Lang? Whiskey. For Don. There we go. Once more unto the breach, dear friends. I'm afraid you can't just take it, Mr. Lang, no matter how much you wish to. How much? It's not cheap, I'm afraid. Forty pounds should do it. I don't have that much money on me. I'm sure you'll find a way, Mr. Lang. You always do. Okay, how about I kill you? Not really something I want to try. Okay, uh, would you take the puppy? I don't think so. Credit card. Okay, here goes. Goodbye, bank balance. If you just enter your pin. Hmm. Now, what was my pin? I remember setting a number I can identify easily. I'm no good with memorizing numbers. Is it one, two, three, four, five? One, two, three, four. Wait, let's try that. Wait. One, 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 one. Yep. One, 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 one. Okay, hold on now. Two, two, two. Wait, zero, zero, zero. Oh, wait. Okay, it's time to break for us. One, 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 two. Ew. Damn. One, 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 three. Damn. <laughs> okay. Uh, why can't I ex Okay, maybe I need a look. Dr. Harold Lang, Krennic on the Museum, badge ID CCPN 1318. Okay, 1318. There we go. Okay, that was quick. All done. Thank you, Floyd. No, thank you, Mr. Lang. I just stole all your money. <laughs> money. Say goodbye to your bank balance. What the hell is happening to me? Ow. My head. I can't think. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lang, that pale man you met, I think he just wants a best friend. Perhaps you're not quite what he's looking for? You are, after all, blind drunk. <laughs> okay. Hey, man, you want some whiskey? I can't just go grabbing someone else's most prized possessions. So, uh, Dark Lord Voldemort, Your or...? Lord. Is that it? Nah. I think Floyd was right. He doesn't seem to be warming to me, though. You know, I really, I should have... Now I feel regret not using, like, any of the jokes that I could use with Star Wars, because it looks more like the Star Wars, the character from Star Wars. I don't think I should go back in there just yet. Why? Okay, in this couch? Locked. I think I can hear breathing inside. Faint sound of someone sleeping, perhaps. I won't disturb them further. That's right, why do you not want to go in uh, the other room? Locked. Yeah, okay. Um, so maybe we do need to talk to the guy. Maybe we offer him some whiskey. And yeah, I, I don't think I, I don't know why I never mentioned, but yeah, he does. He is that uh, clearly that guy who appeared in that girl's. I don't think so. Well, you don't want fucking whiskey? Here, have a puppy. Oh, okay. Worth a try, I suppose. Hey, sir, this isn't quite man's best friend, but <laughs> that seems to have done the trick. Apparently, I. Yes. I think he wants me to open it. No, I wanted to, to get the fuck out. There's an engraving here. He whose blood the earth's dark thirst doth quench, a 
ascends into the heavens from her womb. Interesting. Uh, it's firmly attached. But, hey, I think I can move it. Okay, uh... Locked. Locked. There we are. It's open. Oh! The box is filled with earth and worms. They're everywhere. Why would he lock something like this away? I'm going fishing. This was the only box I could carry my bait in. And you got a problem with that? He's playing with the dog. Best leave him. So... This isn't mine. I probably shouldn't even touch it. Grabbing other people's luggage is a bit of a faux pas. Okay. Well, I couldn't interact much with the earthworm, so... I guess we'll be going to give the guy his whiskey. Alright. Are you ready for your whiskey, sir? Let's get it commanded. Yeah, there we go. Kind of assumed that was going to be the case. Oh, boy, you really came through for an old man. Talk about dramatizing it. You can't be any older than 35. What? Glad to make the night pass by just that little bit easier. That reminds me, I never did find that girl in this carriage. Girl? What are you talking about? There's no girl on this train. But you said... No. It's not nice to go messing with old Don's head just because he's had a sniff of whiskey. But, you know, I'll let you lie. You've got spirit. Well, thanks. But that girl, you honestly told me you saw her. Mm. I reckon I didn't. And you know what? It's the craziest damn thing. You're just about the only soul I've seen on this train tonight. Mm. It's not normally like that. Even Floyd usually around. Must be his night off. Floyd is around. I got the whiskey from him, remember? And what about the sick passenger in the next car? Not seen anyone around, son. Damn, I've you know just been messing with you. Like it's April Fool's Day. A good book. Can't beat a good novel and a drink. A good book, eh? <laughs> you're just gonna... You're just not gonna argue with him about every, uh, all that? Have you ever read the works of Louis Cassell? Can't say I've heard of him. He's a horror writer. In fact, he lives on Augur Peak Island. Augur Peak Island? Never heard of it. Isn't that where we're going? Well... <clears throat> I have one of his novels somewhere. Now that will be just the ticket. <laughs> get it? Yeah. Okay, we'll get you your book. Hope Don likes it as much as I did. Alright. Oh, he uh, left his flask and key. Well, why not? The key to 2A. Maybe I'll find this mysterious girl. Hmm. Yep, he's sleeping. And uh, no. He might want it when he wakes up. Well, I got you your book. Take it. Take the book. Wake up, you bastard, and take the book. Huh. Guess you won't be wanting the novel after all. Let's leave him be. Wait a minute, is that a crow in his, in his jacket? And yeah, I know you probably say, oh, it's a raven. I don't know the difference. I can't tell. I know there's different beaks and different shit like that, but I can't. So, okay, so let's enter here. Ah. If I shut off the lamp, then the room will be pitch black, and I shouldn't have any need for it outside this room. Yeah, well, I wasn't asking. The lamp casts a pale, cold glow over the photographs. The flame is perfectly still. Okay. More photos of that girl from the picture in the corridor. She's sitting in different seats around a house. What is it about these pictures? More photos of that girl. My God! They're Victorian death pictures. I thought as much. I can't take this. What the hell is this place? 
Am I even awake? I... <coughs> okay, I... I think I skipped, uh... Some more dialogue, but I guess because I, I assumed it sounded the same that I just drank I want to have a look inside, but this is somebody's bag. Well, no one's around, you, and everyone seems to be gone. Another large bag. All right, so. A solemn-looking young. Wait, let me. Uh, can I put these pictures with them? No. Okay. So, oh, that well, that door's closed, of course. And I'm not gonna question that for some reason. And I'm not going to question that for some reason. So I just found a couple of photographs. Can I enter here? Nope. I don't want to bother entering my room yet. Oh, look who's gone. And another bag. I don't want to. I don't want to see. Oh, God, get me out of this place. It's locked. Okay, so something broke. So... I'm guessing it's in the other carriage, which of course we wouldn't be able to hear. Maybe it's in... 2A, maybe? I don't see any signs of something. Okay. Oh. I can't do this anymore. I want to wake up. Is the worms gone? Oh, it's a little train. This can't be here for no reason. There's a thin crack around the base of the train, as if it opens. I can't get my nails in the gap. Um, okay. Back. Um, I don't want to be in the dark. I never asked you would. Positioned as if to show off the box, just so. Can I? It's moving. It's twitching. Please, God, don't make me look. Well, God says, look at the damn thing. I can't do this anymore. Do it. Do it. It's. Damn it. You're a big pussy. You know that. So, what about over here, maybe? Oh, well, look at that. I can't even look at it, let alone touch it. Uh, let's see. I can't... Oh, broke glass everywhere. Destroyed. All destroyed. I can't even smell the booze. It's like this happened years ago. What the hell could have done this? Hmm. There's a... Oh, wait. There's a bag. Oh, God. It's slumped against the door. Floyd? Don? Oh, my God. Okay, so maybe I... Okay, so... I guess I'll check the other rooms, then. Alright, do I have anything in my inventory? Can I use that on that? There we go. It came apart. There's some kind of thin key inside. There. Ah, it's it the came con apart. It's yeah, it's uh, the control panel. Alright, good. No, I don't want to enter it, but we'll see. Nope. So, everyone's in a bag. Okay, hold on. Uh, it's yeah, I know. Then key with that. The panel is open. There's a switch marked shutters. Well, that's present. The train's picking up speed. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe I should just uh, go to my room and have a nice sleep. Oh, more lanterns. Really, what's the deal with the uh, windows stuff? I'll just 
slide it open. Oh. No. No. Dear God, what is this? Well. Earth. Nothing but earth. Press tight against the window. Ah, kind of like this the trade in the... This just happened. With the worms. This can't be happening. <laughs> I wonder if I opened the door earlier, it would, uh... Oh. Uh, let's see. I need the light, no matter how erratic. Well, I... Uh... So, uh... Uh, open the window, maybe? We'll, we'll probably dig out. Earth. Nope. Oh, oh, there we go. I can't breathe. There's no air. Okay, that was really low, but thank God for the subtitles. Um. Oh! And now I'm in the bag. The and man looked down upon the earth, and the earth crawled up to meet him. Ah! Line from that book. Okay, so that was part two. That was that was kind of interesting. Um, I think I want to wait until like I finish part three hey, before I, I give my opinions on this. But yeah, these are kind of kind of short. But yep. Uh, I guess I'll just end this part with saying like, thanks guys for watching my uh, video of the my let's play of the Chernobyl House trilogy. Um, feel free to leave a like and a comment if you want, and if you want to see more of my videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel and stuff like that. And I hope to see you in the next part. See you later, everyone!